Hello, I'm Lisa. Thank you for joining me today on my lovely channel. Um, I'm scrapbooking today with the August Lollipop Box Club Kit. Um, I've got a few bits laid out here. And I love scrapbooking. It's my favourite hobby, my favourite thing to do in my spare time. And um, today I'm going to use some bits from the kit to show you what I'm up to. It's a Disney layout today and I've got a few fun techniques in store as well. So let's get started. I have printed off my photographs already and I am going to start with a grid design. So that's going to be the back of the layout. I've got these four little photographs and I've printed them off myself with a thick white border. They measure five by five centimetres. So I am going to start a grid and I am going to cut it. There's a selection of papers from in the August kit. They do vary. They won't all be identical. And I'm just going to cut some strips that measure six centimeters across. So they're boxes of six by sixes. So a little of the design will obviously show. So I am going to do that. I've cut my two pieces of cardstock um, into strips. I've measured them six centimeters across and I've also just measured them again down the side and marked off at the six centimeter point and I'm going to trim that as well and these are going to give me my little boxes to pop my photographs in. The papers are um, double-sided which is great as that gives me then extra designs. I've um, chosen the photographs to coordinate well, sorry, I've chosen the cardstock, the pattern papers to go well with the photographs. The um, colors are, they um, coordinate, but they're not too samey. Otherwise, obviously the photos are just going to um, sink into the background they're not going to stand out which is what we don't want as obviously as always the photographs are the main point I've spent a few minutes just working out what's going where what um, order the photographs are in and obviously which side up of the photo of the patterned papers I'm using so that's all done and I am now going to start sticking everything in place I've only popped a little bit of double-sided tape on the back in the center I haven't stuck all the pieces down and then if you want to rejig them a little you can do that like that I can move them around and the next stage I am going to use a faux stitching technique so the idea is it looks like it's been stitched so like a little patchwork effect I guess take your pencil and ruler and across each square individually you just want to draw a faint line not too dark as you don't want the lines to show out it just needs to be really faint but the lines are important so it is something that you need to do and you can't well I guess you can do freehand but obviously um, you're not going to have the same effect as it could well be wonky and that won't look like then that it's been stitched unless obviously you choose to sew wonky. So I'm going to continue and do each square. I've done my pencil lines, I don't know if you can see that okay. And now for the stitching effect, I've got a paper piercer here and I'm just going to go along and evenly punch some holes, pierce some holes. Go careful with your fingers in the back. If you don't have a paper piercer, you can use obviously a pin or a needle, which is what I used to do before I owned this little thing. And um, believe me, this is so much easier for the sake of a couple of pounds, which is I think all I paid for this. I know it wasn't expensive. It's so, so much easier and my fingers are so much happier. I used to have cuts and sores all the time because I like using the paper piercer quite a lot because I sew quite a lot on my pages and um, when you push the needle through or, um, quite often the top that you're pushing through will also pierce your finger because you're pushing it through quite heavily because obviously it's got to get through two thicknesses of card here or you put the pin through and it goes through your finger the other side um, you just don't have the same kind of control so um, if you do like sewing on paper, I highly recommend 
one of these little tools. I punched all the holes. Don't know if you can see. You can certainly see on the back. And I now need to join them up. They already look quite stitched, to be honest, because I've gone along the pencil line. But I'm going to take a black pen now. And I'm going to carefully join each hole up so it looks like a stitch. That one's a little bit looser, which looks cool because that looks like a stitch as well. And almost let the pen run from hole to hole, slotting into each hole as you go. Rather than just do one long line, you want to keep them so that they are individual lines from hole to hole. And then you have your stitched effect. Don't worry too much at this stage about the pencil if you can see that underneath. Once that's once the ink's dry, we can go over that, um, go over with a, a rubber and a razor to um, delete the um, pencil line. My stitching's all done. I'm really pleased with that. It looks quite cool. So that's done, and now on to the photographs. I am going to stick them on with a little bit of sticky foam tape, um, remembering roughly where each one was before. Actually, the long photo was there, wasn't it, of Louis? And we've got the You Are Here. Each August kit contains some bits and pieces from the You Are Here range from Simple Stories. Um, Simple Stories is my absolute favourite scrapbooking company so um, I tend to use a fair bit of those and uh, I can't remember where what order I had these in now I had one up there didn't I and I am going to stick these on I've decided actually that the white frame is slightly too large I'm covering up too much of the sewing even if I pop them at an angle so I'm going to trim some of the white down everything's nicely stuck in place now as you can see and I am now going to continue with the stencil. Um, this is the Retro Sunburst and seeing as it's a sunny summer page we need some sunshine. So I've got a pan pastel here and a little sponge and I'm just going to go over the stencil adding a few little sunbeams. Any extras like that that you don't want you can just use an eraser to get rid of them afterwards. Now this um, layout is a Disney water park. It's Typhoon Lagoon. Um, we had such a fun day here when we went last time. It was our first time here when we went with another family and um, we just had the best day. And I don't even like water. Um, I don't particularly like swimming. I can swim but it's um, I'm happy just to kind of potter around on my own in the pool a little bit. But um, I don't do water slides. Um, I don't like getting my face in the water it just sends me into a panic so um, I had such a nice time it was um, quite a big thing for me I even went on a couple of water slides and um, yeah it was really really good it was fantastic the one tip I would give anyone going we um, pre-booked um, some space um, in an area called the getaway Glen and it's something that I booked, I rang up the States and booked ahead of time and it's just a really, I haven't really got a photograph here but the ice cream was taken there, it's a real kind of secluded quiet area and um, I think it was $37 something and for that you get um, two sun loungers, there's a couple of chairs, a table and a brolly but the best thing is it's just in a really really quiet area and there was, um, apart from obviously other people sitting in the area um, but you had space and um, it just felt so much nicer than the rest of the park. Um, when we went around it was just like chair after chair after chair, all the sun loungers lined up. Whereas this wasn't like that, it was just really, really nice. And for that small amount of money, um, it was just ideal. You don't get a locker, you don't get towels, um, but that's fine. We obviously took our own anyway. Um, saying that, no, we did get towels. I'm sure towels were included in that. Um, but it was really, really nice and um, I wouldn't do a water park any other way now over there. So um, the Getaway Glen it's called and I highly recommend. Definitely worth the extra dollars, especially as there's four of you that can use the space. So my stenciling's done. I am now going to pop that there. Where did I put my sticky tape? Um, all the Simple Stories bits are double-sided too, by the way, or I think most of them are. So let's, I do love double sided, you feel like you're getting double your money, don't you? Uh, let's pop that on, let's overlap that actually, I quite like that. Okay. 
okay we're going to move the stencil out the way I'm a tidy scrapbooker I like to tidy as I go along and I'm going to clean my fingers off because they're very pastely and I'm going to cut some decorations out next I think so next I'm going to use the embellishment sheet that also comes with the lollipop box club in August I am going to cut out some of these arrows the great thing with these sheets um, they're what I call printables and as a subscriber you get a code so you can download these afterwards they come on like a little postcard inside every kit but as a subscriber you can then go ahead download them and um, you can use them as many times as you wish so you don't just get the one go out of them and they're exclusively designed for the kit so I like to cut out with a bit of a border let's make sure that's straight I don't like wonky and I'm going to attach them around there and I think I will add an ice cream at the top there as well the embellishments are in place with some of the double-sided foam tape I've also got some colored pegs from the kit and I am going to pop those on to make it look like they are pegged on let's do this one down here as well I might change that color I want it to be to show out pop it there and I think this one so they're kind of like opposite colors to the photographs on the papers let's leave those two I've also got a couple of clips, these fold back clips, I wonder how that one would look, I might pop that on there for the time being, I could always move that, okay, now the next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to attach possibly, I don't know, I've got an ice cream scoop here, actually I could always pop that there, couldn't I? Right, I'm going to stick the ice cream scoop on on the side there. Let's see how this sticks on. A little bit of foam tape. Pop that there. Actually, I need some on the base there as well. I've um, I saw these ice cream scoops and I just loved the pretty colours that they came in. So I grabbed them for the kits. Um, I just thought they were quite retro looking actually. Um, just reminded me of being a child let's grab some twine around there um, but also we've got um, an ice cream recipe coming up on the blog as well so um, I thought it would be quite fun let's tie that around there the twine also comes in the kit and let's tie that into a bow I like adding different things to my layout sometimes let's cut that like that now to secure the twine as it's going to just move all over the place all you need is a tiny blob of glue you don't need to add loads and then you can just move the twine wherever you want it to go so it's not like you need to run the glue down the length of the twine just a few little glue blobs is all it needs and that will then stay in place. So I might pop one there. Okay, that should dry nicely. And I've also got the flare as well, the summer flare. Let's use one of those. This was um, this month we're collaborating with Hey Little Magpie. So let's take one of these. I'm just going to use a bit. Oh, actually, are they? You peel that off? I don't know if you can. Oh, you can, that's cool, I didn't realise that. Um, could pop that down there actually, couldn't we? That goes quite well with the yellow. So that's that. And I was going to use a few little dots in the centre. Okay. And I am going to just add a little bit of journaling and then I'm done there we have it the layout is finished I've just journaled around here I've already created a layout about Typhoon Lagoon with other photographs where I've um, really concentrated on the journaling so I didn't have too much to write so I've just done a little bit underneath 
If you've got more though, obviously you can just journal all the way around the outside. I'm really pleased with the ice cream scoop. Um, one of the highlights of the day was actually this great big bucket of ice cream that we bought between all four of us. So um, the two kind of go together. So never be put off by adding non-scrapbooking items to your page. If it's something that reminds you of the day, extra memorabilia for example, add it. It's um, a really nice way to keep sake things. So there you go, my Typhoon Lagoon layout with some really fun techniques. I hope you've enjoyed this today. If you did like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe already, please click subscribe. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.